All right, we are welcome today. We are discussing uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia (BPH). But before we start, let's look at what the prostate is. So I say the prostate is a gland in male that is found in male that is located between the urinary bladder and the penis. Okay, so this prostate gland is in front of the uh, uh, rectum. So the urethra runs through the prostate gland from the urinary bladder to the penis, letting the urine flow out of the body. The prostate secretes the fluids that nourishes and protects the sperm. During ejaculation, the prostate squeezes the fluid into the urethra and it is expelled with sperm and semen. Alright, so now let's come to the just an anatomy of uh, the prostate gland. Okay, so here is the prostate gland. So it is in front of uh, the rectum. The rectum here is in front. Here there is a urinary bladder. Okay, the ejaculatory duct as it has been zoomed here. So here there is a urinary bladder. Uh, the, this is the urethra and there is a ejaculatory duct. So this is the prostate. Okay, and here. We also have uh, another diagram of uh, the prostate, okay, showing a normal prostate and an enlarged prostate. Alright, so now, what is a benign prostatic hyperplasia? So this is the condition in which there is enlargement of the prostate gland, characterized by weak flow of urine and post-void dribbling. Okay. So, what are some, uh, what are the signs and symptoms? These are just some of the signs and uh, symptoms. Okay, so there will be weak flow of urine, which may be due to the uh, urethral stricture. Okay, the urethra has been narrow. There can be also be post void uh, dribbling, so the strain, training when you urinate, then, uh, Number four, say incomplete bladder empty and also nocturia. Okay, so what would be the signs and symptoms of uh, uh, what uh, be the complications of BPH? Okay, so if BPH has been treatment, treated and it, it can lead to the complications, and the complications are as follows. Okay, so there is uh, acute urinary retention. That's the first one. This patient will not be able to, to pass urine. There will be urinary bladder stones. Okay. There can also be urinary tract infection. There can also be kidney damage. There can also be uh, hematuria. Remember, these are just some of the uh, complications that may arise around due to BPH. Okay. So, what are some of the investigations that can be done? So, I say number one. Digital rectal examination, DRE. Remember, uh, the, the prostate is just in front of the rectum. Okay, so here is an example of the digital rectal exam which is being done. Okay, in relation to the prostate. Alright. Then the second one is uh, uh, PSA, it can also be done. Okay, which is a prostate specific antigen. Then also a urine flow test can be done. Also cystoscopy can be done. And the prostate MRI. And there are many more investigations that can be done. So when you come to the treatment, okay, so there is a, a medical treatment and a surgical treatment. So in medical treatment, we can give uh, alpha blockers. Alpha blockers, yes. Like uh, low dosing or Tamsilosin it can be given to the patient. Then you can also give five alpha reductant inhibitors like finasteride and dutasteride. Okay. Then there is also a surgical treatment. Okay. So in this surgical treatment, I will explain the approaches that are done during a prostatectomy. Uh, there are different approaches that can be done. Okay. So the first one I'm going to talk about the trans. Urethral resection of the prostate, in which the 
process uh, is removed uh, through the urethra. Okay. Then this one, number two, is a perineal prostatectomy. So prostatectomy, uh, perineal prostatectomy, this is why now it's done using the perineal area. Then the other one is a retropubic prostatectomy. Okay, this one which is done behind the pubic bone. Then you also have the suprapubic prostatectomy. This is the one which is done in a suprapubic area. So these are the four approaches. Remember, there could be other approaches that can be done. So what can uh, be the complications that may arise after prostatectomy? And one way could be infection. Okay. Number two, there could be bleeding. Number three, erectile dysfunction. Number four, urinary incontinence. Number five, narrowing of the urethra. Okay. Now, here are some things that you need to consider when nursing a patient who has undergone prostatectomy. The patient, may, uh, you need to consider the, the pain of the patient. Okay. Also need to observe uh, the bleeding. Also taking care of the uh, of the tubes. These are cardinal points that you need to take care of for the patient who has undergone prostatectomy. And uh, here are just some examples of the nursing diagnosis that may be used in nursing the patient who has undergone prostatectomy. They say number one, uh, impaired urinary elimination, which may be related to mechanical obstruction like blood clot. Evident by urinary bladder fullness. Okay, number two, we say acute pain related to inflammatory process. You know the inflammatory process that may come due to the surgical procedure. Evident by patient vaporizing or patient crying. So these are just some of the nursing diagnosis. Thank you very much until next time. Remember, this channel is not a substitute of school and the hospital. Bye bye.